Hello, this is Mr. Tybox123 and I'm going to do a short video today after I've just successfully completed the setup of my three Apple Cinema Display 27 inches in an iFinity setup in boot camp from the Mac Pro that you can see in the picture. What you can see at the moment is the back of my Mac Pro. It's somewhat of a mess with all the cables, but on the bottom graphics card, that's the main card that my three Apple cinema displays are connected to and you can see that obviously two of them go straight into the mini display port adapter but the third one because of the fact that the monitor only has a mini display port adapter has had to go into the Atlona dual link DVI converter which I did a video on previously so that's how it's set up three 27 inch displays straight into the back of the Mac Pro one of them being on the Atlona card so just to show you that I'm booting into boot camp. You can see Windows booting up now. Now the display on the right hand side is the one that's connected to the Atlona display port adapter and you can see it doesn't actually come up until a little bit later after the two that are plugged directly into the mini display port card on the back of the Mac Pro. And there's also a disadvantage to having the Atlona plugged in in the fact that it only produces a 720p resolution on the display that it's actually connected to so I can only get a maximum of 720p across that monitor which means that my overall screen display is limited to that instead of the the 2550 that the cinema displays actually support but there's my single instance screen that I've created using all three of the desktops and in the display properties you can see that I've got 4020 sorry 4032 by 720 display as that one single desktop instance across those three monitors it should be a lot higher other than the fact that the Atlona for some reason limits me to 720p on that one display so you have to use the minimum resolution across all of them in order to use the iFinity functionality. In OS 10 you get full resolution on that Atlona card but in Windows it seems limited. I have logged the call with Atlona and they tell me it's a problem with the graphics cards themselves so I'll keep you updated on what happens there. So I'm just going to go into F1 and I'll let you watch this through as to how it actually performs across these three displays. So that's how it looks when you've got these three monitors configured up and connected in an iFinity configuration. I hope that was of some use to some of you who are potentially looking to do a similar thing to this. I will be doing some more videos on this um, once I've got some information back from Atona as to how I might possibly fix this resolution issue and then we can actually show this running at full resolution rather than the restricted 720p. 
I've also bought a Crossfire cable which is connecting my two ATI 5770s together and I'm going to connect that up at some stage and do a video on connecting these two sets of three monitors together and see if I can get all six of them running it in an iFinity configuration and have a game running across all three, all six, sorry. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the business, we'll take with this, to the type of history we are.